Hey guys, this is BT Top of Great here with a comics update. I will now be reading Flotsam and Jetsam in comics. Now, to make up for, for the comic, for the Flotsam and Jetsam I think so, I'm going to read them now. Sponges. For centuries, everyone thought sponges were plants. After all, they don't have limbs, organs, or a head, and they never move at all, or so it seems. But sponges do move. Thousands of waving tiny heads inside them, called flag flagella, create a current that sweeps food particles into the sponge. Because they consume food and don't make their own, sponges are considered animals without a brain or a nervous system. There are more than 5,000 different species of sponge at all, and they live everywhere. Sponges contestant watches his coat can produce a foul odour. Crabs carry stinky sponges around on their backs to discourage predators. Humans have used dried out sponges for lots of things, and recently, scientists have used these dolphins off the coast of Northern California using natural sponges as tools for digging up food. And now, the other flotsam and jetsam. Starfish. Starfish live at the bottom of every ocean. Some of them have spikes, actually. Some of them have very long spikes, which are poisonous. While starfish have no spikes, the leather, the leather starfish is smooth. When threatened, it covers itself with mucus. It also smells like garlic. Most starfish have Fritz five arms, but some species have as many as 40. Losing a arm is no big deal for a starfish. It can grow a new one. Some can grow a body from a single limb. Starfish don't have eyes, you can't see, but they have eye spots on the end of their eyes which help them detect their way up. And finally, some sea stars eat by pushing their stomach out through their mouth. Bye!